Here we have Oak Hill Professional Park. It's an opportunity of uh, seven different medical buildings. We're getting a cap of 8.1%. The market related at the moment is somewhere between seven and seven and a half. It's eight doctors that have put a consortium together, not very sophisticated and effectively are coming to the market. They're reaching retirement. They want to exit the opportunity and they want to unbundle the whole thing. You can see one of the major buildings in the background there. I'm working our way around here. There's a number of buildings, existing buildings, 95% occupancy. It's also part of a master plan development. We're going to try and tie up this land as well because ultimately with Henny's experience, we're going to want to create a medical facility in the area. The properties are currently 95% leased and so one has a, a low element of risk here. High grade tenants, 38% of them are blue chip the equivalent of Fortune 500 companies. The average lease in place is 4.7, although we've just signed a 10-year lease um, with one of, the, uh, one, one of the major medical facilities, which will take us over a five-year period for the average lease on the blended portfolio. So I'm standing here at, uh, Oak Hill, at the Oak Hill buildings, and you can see we've got uh, number 60 right in front of us here. Quite interesting, that's the main road that goes down. We've just driven in here, we're in Union County and this is actually a medical service center when you drive up and down that road there's over 500 million dollars worth of investment just in three major centers and then there's a lot of the services that feed it in terms of chiropractors doctors dentists now what's happened here is that we've actually got the opportunity to buy in to one of these medical destinations you can see over there you've actually got a, a hospital that that building there is not included um, in terms of a it's actually an animal hospital um, but in terms of the the Oak Hill Boulevard we've got the full building here you can see and what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking lots of videos very um, built in 2007 new quality we've got 95% leases in place and these are all the opportunities so that's number 60 there and then as I, I go around to the other side here we've got um, the other the other buildings 39 Oak Hill A B and C um, as I said to you all in Newton County and we've got all the tenancies we're doing the due diligence at the moment but it just shows you there's the VA clinic so we'd be buying all of this land uh, all of these buildings it's got 95 percent occupancy and quite interestingly enough it's part of a development park and we're also going to negotiate on the land and get options so as henny said you know with his uh with his extensive medical experience currently building nine hospitals in south africa alone and having done medical uh, internationally we want to look at putting in a specialized medical services destination where we could use this land here but for now this opportunity works just with buying these commercial buildings. In this portfolio there are seven buildings of which five are actually based here in Oak Hill. So you can see there's uh, one of the main entrances. That's one of the main buildings there. That's the second major building. As I go around that's the free land there. That's the third major building. This building here, that's the dentistry, that's not included. And that uh, animal hospital down there is not included. There's one piece of free land there that we're going to look to tie up as well. And then it's that building there, the little four orthopods, and then the VA clinic, which is effectively, um, you know, it's, it's federal government uh, for the servicemen and women. And as we just heard, there's a hub. They got one major hub in Decatur and now 11 regional hubs as they're building a, a spoke system around to help the vets. So it just gives you an idea and the quality of the tenants that one would be getting in, in this uh, building and this investment. I'm standing here with Paul Srilinda. Oh, did I get that right, mate? Yeah, pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> We've met Paul a couple of times. We're based here in Atlanta. He has literally, you know, specialized in this market. Tell us just a little bit about your experience and specifically with regards to medical, why you understand the medical opportunity. Uh, we've been in medical for decades now. We've uh, focused on medical office buildings, ambulatory surgery centers, dock in a boxes, as well as some uh, assisted living, continuing care, retirement communities. Um, I've gotten a pretty good handle on uh, the large hospital groups here in Atlanta, as well as the large practice and mid-sized practice groups, um, and had a pretty good feel for most markets as it relates to medical here in Atlanta. Because, I mean, the one thing I learned from Henny from uh, many, many years ago, and you've said this, is that medical is one of the most recession-proof investments you can make, because doctors don't move. That's right. You know, they've, they've not only does the little old lady know that she's got to come here and she doesn't want to move, but equally they put the infrastructure in and it's much more difficult to move. So they don't Absolutely. shop around for a, a square buck per, you know, per foot less Absolutely. or something, you know. So it's something that I really understand, 
but equally you can have a huge amount of understanding to be able to invest in it because you can also make categoric mistakes if you don't understand sure. it. You know, so between you on the ground here with your experience and Henny with his you know medical experience, it, it puts a good combination together. Tell us about this area. You know, you, we drove past uh, a huge amount of kind of medically related services all up and down this main road. Tell us what's happening in this area. We're in Noonan, Georgia, which is in Coweta County. Um, it is uh, just now, recently, they've invested about $500 million uh, across three healthcare facilities, one being Piedmont Noonan Hospital, uh, one being Cancer Treatment Centers of America, uh, and then the final one being the Nursing College, which is a retrofit of the former Noonan Hospital. Um, the Cancer Treatment Centers, as well as the Noonan Hospital, are both open. The nursing school is currently under construction. Um, so it's been a fairly significant, I would say, largest uh, medical uh, infrastructure investment in Georgia uh, has been in this county the past 24 months. And why, I mean, why is there all this medically related stuff? I mean, obviously you've got that big infrastructure, but why is it all up and down this road in this uh, area? It's really a couple of reasons. You've got very strong income demographics here in uh, Coweta County and in, in Fayette County. Um, and then number two, uh, this really served as a regional health care center. Um, so you're servicing more like 15 to 20 counties um, from here in Coweta County, which is uh, central to, um, uh, it's centrally located on I-85, and uh, therefore it's very easily accessible for you know, residents uh, from all the way to the state line of Alabama and up to Atlanta. Specifically here, we've got an opportunity here to buy a package of seven different commercial buildings, of which five happen to be in this vicinity. Why are you interested with your experience in this opportunity to, to co-invest with us and, and to invest here? Uh, I'm interested in it from my perspective as far as investing money in this deal is uh, for a couple reasons. One, I like the story of Noonan. I like the uh, investment that's being that's occurring here. Um, number two, experience in this market. We've developed in this market before. We've uh, owned real estate in this market before. I like it. I think the community is a good community. The demographics are good. Income levels are good. Um, I think that this project specifically is well built. Um, it's, they're nice buildings. Uh, we have not, as of yet, seen any issues with construction related matters or, or, or things of that nature. Um, and we like the rent roll. It's a strong yeah, rent roll. Yeah, good, good, good quality, good, good quality, good quality investment, great tenants. I think the other thing that you mentioned is, is good value as well. You know, you recently, in terms of comparables of the market, but also the own developments that you've done and sold. You're looking at cap rates of seven to seven and a half percent, and we're picking this up north of, of eight percent. That's, so, that's correct. So that's you know one of the exciting opportunities. And just uh, the last thing I would say to you is, is how is that possible? You know, in terms of how did you get access to kind of off-market opportunities? This is not on the internet. It's not on the broker network. How is that possible that you're getting access to opportunities that the general market are not? I, I think a lot of it has to do with relationships. Um, you know, we've been in this market for a long time, specifically in healthcare. Um, the, the person that's representing the uh, seller on this deal is, a, is somebody I've been friends with for a long time and have done business with before. So he came to us, he knows we can close on deals we have before um, and thought this would be a, a good marriage uh, between a buyer and a seller. Fantastic. Well, we look forward to it. And uh, we, we currently got this uh, opportunity tied up on a contract. We've got 45 days worth of due diligence. So now the hard work really starts That's as right. to whether the opportunity is, is what it looks on the outside. That's right. Cool, man. Cheers, man. Thank Thanks. You. So, interestingly enough, here is one of the other buildings in the portfolio. And um, if you look down this road and you go all the way down to the end, every single building down here is medically related. So, this is outpatient imaging. It's a big, uh, big tenant and um, very solid, stable tenant. Peach Street's pretty much about a mile down there towards the main uh, intersection. Remember this is the one that's a 10-year lease, triple net, so. 10-year lease in place. And how um, how much into that lease are they? Is it pretty new? It'll be a brand new lease. Oh, this will be the brand so new one. Oh, okay. Purchase, um, it'll convert into the Okay. Lease. So, this is the side like Okay, so we're here with Paul. We've come down to Peachtree City. Now, just quickly, you were telling me about Peachtree City being one of the best places in the whole of America to live or something like that. Something, you know, what did yeah, you always, say? It's, it's typically ranked in the top 10 of best places to live in the United States. Uh, as far as Georgia is concerned, it's always one of the top communities in Georgia. Um, livability, school system, you know, quality of life. There's Non-golf nine or courses, ten golf courses and a golf cart community as well. Um, it really is a great place to live uh, in, 
this area. This golf course community is quite intriguing. Apparently everyone drives around on golf carts. So when they go to the shopping or go to play golf or whatever, I presume they go to the pub by golf course as well. Yeah. But, uh, but what more, what's more important is here. So in Peachtree City, I know one other interesting fact is that more South Africans live in Peachtree uh, in Atlanta than anywhere, any other suburb in Atlanta. And interesting enough, more South Africans live in Atlanta than anywhere else in America. So there's an arbitrary fact for you. But um, <laughs> tell us, Paul, just quickly in terms of this building behind us. This is the, now the sixth building. We've seen the first five. This is the yep. sixth one. Why is this, uh, this a good investment? Uh, yeah, this is a great location. That's what I would, at least for Peachtree City, it's an it's a irreplaceable location. It'd be hard to rebuild this. Um, the structure itself is fairly well We're built. We're about a mile from the center of yeah, Peachtree. Yeah, the city center itself. And uh, it, the structure is well built. It's a concrete building, metal roof. Um, and it, the way this one is going to work is that upon acquisition, the current tenant will sign a full 10-year lease. So um, when the date of closing happens, they will commence a new 10-year lease. So we'll get a full 10 years of revenue from the closing date. And it's a triple net lease, so the tenant's responsible for all. Um, expenses, maintenance, those types of matters as well. Strong tenant? Good tenant, very good, good tenant. tenant. I mean, who are tenant. they? Are they sizable? They, you know, yeah, it's a strong them? diagnostics group um, and uh, they're a very quality tenant. They've been around the market for a long time. You told me that, you know, with these guys with the imaging, there's a special license that they have to get into place, you know, so that obviously makes it unique because these premises have those licenses, etc. cetera. Yep. So tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, it's called the Certificate of Need. It's a regulatory process run through the Department of Community Health here in the state of Georgia. Um, it is not portable. Uh, it is site specific, uh, address specific. Uh, there, were, it's a requirement for imaging centers like this one. It's a requirement for surgery centers and for uh, other other uses too that are more specialized. Uh, so I think it is actually very important. Um, it, it does run with, if you will, the property in the sense that uh, it does restrict them to be here. Yeah, the bottom line is Ted and Quan Chum ship and yeah, go down the road. They can't leave. Also, this area just up this road is all medical facilities right up and down this road. So again, you've got a concentration of medical facilities in this area, which is Absolutely. interesting. We're not going to go all the way up north today, but um, there's a seventh building up to the north. Now, interestingly enough, obviously we'll do the due diligence on the quality of the building and everything else, but tell us more about the tenancy, because obviously the income stream is the most important thing at the end sure, of the day. Sure. And um, my understanding is there's a good quality tenant in place with, with, a, with a long lease as well. Yeah, the Blairsville building is very similar to the one in Noonan. It's, uh, the, the tenant is the VA clinic, which is essentially the federal government of the United States of America. Um, it's a 10-year lease, triple net deal again, um, where they're... Uh, I think they're about halfway through the first year of their tenure lease. Okay. So we've actually got nine and a half years on, yeah. on the lease, yeah. basically. And it's a brand Again, new it's building. a federal government uh, lease. It's it's exactly the same as what we saw, where I explained to you the you got the main regional area and then you have got the eleven spokes around. For and the VA is uh, is the Veterans Association. It's basically paid for by the government for ex army or well not army, but um, what do you call them army, navy, and uh, veterans, and veterans yeah, basically, yeah. and the people that got injured. And effectively, it's the government supporting their their, their, their soldiers. Yes, sir. That's correct. That. So that's correct. Good, good, good quality tenants. So Absolutely. anyway, well, that's uh, that's very interesting. Thank you very much. That's a good market. That's a good medical market. Now, you know, Piedmont Hospital recently acquired this hospital about 24 months ago, um, and that's a huge enhancement to the whole community. It's a big credit enhancement, you know, operator-wise. It's also a good brand enhancement. It's no longer a county hospital, it's a Piedmont hospital, so they're putting money into it as well and adding more specialties. Um, it's all, all creative, I think, to this market. Great, thank you.